So now let's talk about changing between different states. What if we have a solid and we want to turn it into a liquid? What if we have a liquid and we want to turn it into a gas? And what are the names for these different processes? So let's get into changing states. Now here is a famous triangle you guys need to know off by heart is going to become your best friend later on. So let's see. So here we have the three different phases and we're going to move between them in a triangle. So what if we move in this direction, going from the solid state to the liquid state? So imagine you have an ice cube and this ice cube, you left it out in the open. So this ice cube starts to melt. So this is basically melting, going from the solid state to the liquid state. Now, what if we're going from the liquid state to the gas state? Imagine you're having a pot of water and this pot of water is boiling, so you get some steam. This is actually evaporation. So, this is a direction you guys need to know. Now, what if we go in the reverse? So, what if I want to go from the gas to the liquid? Imagine this, you're having a, a bottle of water in a hot summer day and this bottle of water starts to form some droplets on the outside. This is because the temperature on the inside of the bottle is very cold while on the outside is very hot so condensation happens which is the opposite of evaporation. Now, what if we have a liquid and we want to turn it into a solid? Also imagine this as filling the tray of ice cubes with water and put it in, putting it in your freezer. This is basically freezing. So the opposite of melting is freezing. So just one more thing to complete our triangle is this direction between solids to gases. What if I have a solid and I need to turn it into a gas without passing through this cycle, without going this way? I just want to make a shortcut and go from a solid to the liquid state. Now this is a special case and this special case is called sublimation. So sublimation is basically going from the solid state to the gas state directly without passing through the liquid state. Just a shortcut. So this is how we change between the different states of matter. In the next video, we're going to talk about heating curves and we're going to explore this using energy, time and so on and so forth. So stay tuned and good luck.